Hey guys, Jake Mance with HJ Sports. Today we're out here uh, sighting our bows in for the year. Uh, today I am shooting the Tetra Max Rise um, in the Hoyt Picatinny mount. So all the Tetra Max Rise sights are gonna come in all of our different frame options. So you'll get it in the, the Hoyt mount as I have here, long and short bar options. And then of course the fixed frame uh, Hunter edition. So today I'm gonna go over how to sight in the Tetra Max Rise. So we're gonna shoot at 20 yards. Um, it's the same method that we've always used with all of our other uh, sights that we have in our Tetra line. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot at 20 yards with the top pin and top indicator, and then we'll go back to 60, and we'll take the difference between uh, 60 and 20 on the setup tape. So important to note that we don't have to do anything with the second pin or second indicator when setting up the rise. Uh, just focus on the single pin side, and then everything else will fall into place after that. So before I get started, I know that I'm gonna to have to make a little bit of an adjustment. Um, typically on my setups, shooting 70 pounds with a 29 inch draw length, and just based off where my peep height is at, my peep height is relatively low compared to your average shooter. Um, so I know that I'm gonna to have to put my scope in about the middle third of the infinite adjust rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that down, lock it in, You'll also notice, since I'm shooting one of the inline mounting options, the Hoyt on the Hoyt pick Picatinny mount, and then if I were to shoot anything on the Matthews bridge lock system, I do have that infinite adjust plate flipped to the outside for more windage adjustments. Alrighty. So I was a little bit left and a little bit high. So I moved my sight a little bit to the left and now I'm going to move my sight up a little bit as well on the infinite adjust rail. Alrighty, so I'm still a little bit high, so I'm going to slide my scope housing up another witness mark. One more arrow, let's see if we can get it close. So we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna take a couple more shots at 20 just to verify that I'm on. I think I am pretty close. But shooting at 20 is just as important, if not more important than shooting at 60. So just wanna really make sure that I have the correct sight tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple arrows at 20 and then we'll uh, go out to 60. Now that I'm on at 20 yards, uh, now we're gonna go back to 60. So I'll shoot at 60 and I'll start rotating my dial uh, backwards. So uh, 
Most people are gonna to wanna to kind of shoot at intermediate distance, 30, 40, 50. You don't have to spend a lot of time there. It's really more so about making sure you're on the target um, because the only numbers that we're gonna to need to use are 20 and 60 yards. Me personally, uh, if, you're, if you're shooting around, you know, a 450 grain arrow, 70 pounds, uh, 29 inch draw length, I know that that's about my setup and I'm usually somewhere between sight tape 45 and 55, so I always uh, shoot on a big bale target and I get to uh, about 50 on the setup tape and I go from there and make adjustments. Um, but otherwise, you definitely want to shoot at 30, 40, 50 just to ensure that you're on the target before shooting out at 60 yards. Alrighty, so now we're going to shoot at 60 yards uh, with the Tetra Max Rise. Uh, we just shot at 20 yards, worked our way back to 60, um, and we're kind of ballparking it around 50. Um, I'm, I've been playing around with it a little bit and I think I'm going to be closer to about 52. Uh, so I'm going to shoot out at 52 or 52 on the setup tape at 60 yards um, and we'll make any adjustments that we need to there. So. So I am a little bit high right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my wheel back to 51. Alrighty, we'll go see where we're at. So my first shot was high, made that adjustment, and I'm right down in here. Maybe need to put one click to the left, uh, but for the most part, it looks like right here, I'm within you know, a half inch, inch or so. Um, so we'll call that good. So we're at uh, number 51 on the setup tape. Alrighty, so we shot at 20 yards, we shot at 60 yards. 20 yards, we were at zero on our setup tape. Uh, 60 yards, we're at 51. So we're gonna take 51 minus zero, gonna give us sight tape 51. So I'm gonna go into the sight tape packet, peel off number 51. And then with the Tetra Max, you're also gonna receive a second yardage wheel. Um, so you can just lock the wheel down and then pop the wheel hub off um, and put a whole separate yardage wheel on that as well. Second needle now goes out to 125. Rotate back to the top, 20 yards. So now that we're sighted in at 20 and 60 yards with our Tetra Max Rise sight, uh, we installed tape number 51, and I'm now sighted in from 20 to 125 yards. So, quick reminder when you are shooting out at longer distances, just verifying that you do have arrow clearance. I checked on mine, and I do have clearance from uh, out to about 120 to 125. So. Uh, for more information on the Tetra Rise and Tetra Max Rise line of sights, you can visit our website at hjsports.com.